one the chance of a lifetime. The Jackson 5 were signed and made into stars. Additions to a long list managed by Motown, one of the most successful record labels in history. We're going to call this Hitsville because that is where hits are going to be made. And they were. The children of America's biggest car manufacturing city were put on a production line to fame. Over 30 artists, nearly 200 number one singles. He insisted that we get training. Um, he took us to uh, four-year courses with uh, Professor Maxine Powell, two-hour sessions whenever we went on the road. Every day we were at the studio because that was a Motown look. That was a Motown class. That was a Motown way. It wasn't a way that had been seen before. Not in Detroit, not anywhere. The campaign for racial equality in America was on the up. In the 1960s, audiences knew about segregation. I am so very, very, very proud of the Motown music because I feel like we bridged that gap. Because a year or so later, we'd be going down to those same places. And the kids were not only in the same area, but they were dancing together. It's not just a social legacy that's been left behind. The people who sold a lot of records over the last few years, a lot of them have been sort of female solo stars. So you've got Amy Winehouse, you've got Duffy, you've got Adele, and a lot of, they've really based their whole sound on, on Motown to an extent, almost to the degree where you wonder what, what the new part of the music is. One thing that has changed is Detroit. The sparkle has faded and Motown's founder left for Los Angeles. Properties are repossessed, unemployment's high, the car industry is in serious trouble. The place once known for motors and Motown is a city in crisis. But 50 years on, with the label's legends about to go on tour, the Motown star is still shining. An era of dresses, divas and diversity will continue to get generations of us onto our feet. Kirsty Brown, Sky News.